Hi guys, I'm Jenelyn Clay. I wasn't ready. Sorry. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Jenelyn Clay. And I'm Dee Dee Nicholson. And we, we are, are the creators, creators of Status, Status Pending. Pending. Status Pending is our 10 episode web series that we created together. It's a coming of age story about two young women. Obviously, us. us. And it's all about the struggles, the shenanigans that we get into, just trying to cope and understand what being a modern adult is. So we kept hearing create your own content, and mm -hmm. we thought, you know what, if we're not getting work, we're going to make our own work. We're just going to take that power, empower ourselves, and just make it happen and do, you know, do our own thing. Yeah, open our own doors. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, and we also wanted, as actors, to tell mm -hmm. a story that, you know, we felt passionate about right. and felt like it was an important story to tell. Write what you know. And that's what we did. <laughs> so you guys asked for it. Yep. Um, but... I think it is an important story talk, to talk about you know, being a modern adult because things aren't as simple or as black and white as no. they once used to be. And even though that there's so many opportunities now and so many different choices and pathways, there's a lot of power and choice, but there's also a lot of risk and it can get really overwhelming and stressful. Mm -hmm. So I think it was a really fun story for us yeah. to tackle. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <sighs> oh okay. man, the name. <laughs> Finding a title for the series was a doozy. I mean, so we went, long. yeah, we wrote the entire script before we even could think of the name. And then when we yeah. did, it just kind of clicked. It was like one of those light bulb moments. It you was know? like naming our baby. Whoa. Like, we took it. Yeah, yeah. It was. It totally was. It totally was. It, um, it was serious. It just, this, the name, Status Pending, just applied so much to the show, to the characters. And it just became a run on joke mm -hmm. of like applying so heavily to our lives and yeah. to this project that just was a life What's of coming its next? own and we had no yeah yeah so it's kind of like that time in your life where everything's up in the air it's like what's going on in your 20s what are you doing that overwhelm that pressure and so it's like yeah you know that title just pending so the title just encompassed everything right. and it just fit it shows us I mean, it totally has, you're right, and it absolutely has. But why has this concept been done repeatedly over and over again so successfully? I mean, we have Friends, Seinfeld. That 70s show. Yeah. Sex how I, in the City. Girls, How I Met Your Mother. Will and Grace. Yeah, I mean, the reason it's so successful and keeps getting repeated and being done over and over again is because it's relatable. It's timeless. Relatable is timeless and it's mm -hmm. never going out of style. And we definitely have our own playful spin that we oh, yeah. have incorporated into the show to make it our own and to make it unique, honestly. So we're really excited about that. So deal with it. So Spencer is definitely the romantic, dreamer, kind of head in the clouds character. Naive. Very naive. She's very naive. She's very, um, she's like the late bloomer of the friends, yeah. of the friendship circle, the... Um, everyone's had that friend and she's she's that girl but she definitely comes into her own and you hear her see her find her voice and it's really nice to watch her journey to figure out that yeah yeah Jessie is she's just flat out an instigator yep she's spontaneous she can be immature she can be really selfish a little wild <laughs> yes but I think what made me so excited to play this character is she's so completely and utterly like okay with the skin that she's in yeah. and who she is and yes. she's not apologetic about anything she does mm -hmm. which I think is a really cool mentality for yeah. a woman to have or anyone to have now yeah yeah absolutely and you know a lot of people have asked us like oh who's Spencer and who's Jesse we didn't write these characters based on like specifically one of us it's right. definitely like bits of piece of us are incorporated in both exaggerated characters. versions extremely exaggerated because we are not this crazy not all the time at least my biggest advice is just stop making excuses yeah. stop telling yourself you can't and change your mindset mm -hmm. to how can i do it mm -hmm. you know we never wrote anything before never. and we decided well we're gonna have to learn we're gonna have to write something. We just and did it. Yeah, but before we know, we had ten episodes. Mm -hmm. You know, we we told ourselves we couldn't produce. We've never produced before, and never. we figured out a way to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to turn that whole mindset around and just stop making excuses. Right. And of course, our biggest excuse 
of all yeah. was money. Money. We money, had no budget. Not, Not low budget, budget, no budget. budget. Like, okay. literally no money. It was rough. Yeah. And, um... But we used our resources. I mean, we called yeah. our friends and we made sure to just work with people who what are more who were passionate, who we knew wanted more to, than wanted a paycheck. To create. Just, yeah. They want to create. You wanted to get more out of it. Yeah. And so you just need to utilize mm -hmm. your resources. Do, do your, your own hair. Do yeah. your own makeup. Do your own set design. Do your own. Get your own props from. Our things. props were from mm -hmm. our apartments. You know. Um, we reached Location. out to friends and asked if we could borrow their place for that night, you know? <laughs> and we also wrote things that were fathomable and totally doable. You know, renting out a bar costs money, plus getting insurance on it, yikes, it gets really yeah. bad. So we thought, okay, well, let's turn it into a house party. Mm -hmm. So there are ways around, around it. it. Believe me, there are ways. A budget's great and all, it'd be really nice, yeah. but there are ways. Yes, you can so do it. If we can do it, you guys can mm -hmm. do it. So just stop making excuses and just ask for help. You mm -hmm. will be so surprised by how many people are willing to help. And definitely keep your eye on the prize and mm -hmm. keep that positive attitude because you'll definitely hit a lot of overwhelming time. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. way harder than you think it is, but you just have to know your why going into it mm -hmm. and just always keep a positive attitude. And honestly, if we can do it, you guys can do it. Yeah. it it's, it's so rewarding at the end when you're done with your project or almost done with your project and you look back at it, it's so rewarding. So yeah. we did it. We did it. Oh, that was bad. Do it again. Uh, okay, forget it. All right, guys, we are so excited to announce that the official release date for Status Pending's first two episodes is going to be Monday, Monday January, January 8th. 8th. It's going to be released on a YouTube channel, yes. so please make sure to subscribe to that. Yes. But don't forget to also follow our Facebook and our Instagram pages. For just updates. so Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And so you get reminded about when episodes come out, and also so we can bug you. Yeah. Duh. And we're so excited to share our show with you, our passion project. You guys are going to love it, yes. so stay tuned. Nice, that was good. Okay, cool. Nailed it!